Hey, TikTok, you're banned. What? Why? What's the big deal? We're not okay with you mining user data. Well, doesn't Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube also mine user data? Yes, but they're owned by United States companies, so we can actually see that data for our own manipulation. Well, uh, what if I was owned by a US-based company? That would be okay, because then we could see your data that you mine on users. Okay, so you're telling me I just need to be bought out by an American brand. That should be possible. Yes, as long as it's not Meta, Google, Microsoft, Apple, or Amazon. Good luck. Okay, uh... Walmart? So as of this morning, the House voted on this very weird bill, specifically titled the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act, which is just another way of saying that, hey, China owns TikTok and therefore can see all of the user data and use that to influence people or figure out their behaviors. And they don't want China being able to document so much of Americans' data because I guess TikTok is such a popular app. So many Americans are spending more and more time on it, it's taking away more and more time from the American-owned data mining apps. And therefore, TikTok, which is currently owned by ByteDance, I don't know who comes up with all these names, but they have to either get out of the United States market if the Senate passes this bill, which is now the final step of the whole process, because the president has promised that they will sign this into law, assuming the Senate passes it, and we already have both Republicans and Democrats from the Senate saying that they're in support of this bill being passed. And because it was not a close call for the House, it's fairly likely that this bill is going to go through at this point. So if they don't sell themselves to a US-based company and are essentially no longer owned by ByteDance, then the app will cease to exist. It will be banned from operation within the United States, which is hilarious because, once again, there's multiple levels of hypocrisy about worrying about which data is being mined by which country. It's not like we don't do that in the US, it's just our government wants to have more control over this data. And while I personally don't think it makes a massive difference, I think there's probably a lot of social media paranoia where anything that's owned by China is like, hey, they can use this against this, even though, like, how much of our manufacturing has been outsourced to China anyway? This is probably gonna cause more tensions between the two countries. They'll probably retaliate in some way. I don't know, we're probably all screwed and there's nothing we can do about it. But if I did have to pick a social media to ban, yeah, I think a lot of you guys already agree with me. This is the one just because maybe I'm a little bit older than most of you. And TikTok, I think, has just kind of pioneered the concept of vertical short-form video, which is somewhat addictive, but also accelerates the deterioration of our attention spans. It has made so many copycats across so many different platforms trying to normalize doing more short-form content and trying to motivate people to not watch videos if they're not interesting within the first five seconds, which definitely throws off a lot of monetization programs encourages people to not dive too deep into many subjects and to kind of believe things that have to be overly simplified, have to be super, super digestible. It's basically the fast food of the content creation industry, and I thought I was the fast food until I realized, like, yeah, if you can't make a video in 30 seconds, then it's basically not worth watching. That affects my livelihood, whether we're talking YouTube shorts or Instagram reels or TikTok, but basically TikTok is the one who mainstreamed this, and now everyone's trying to replicate that success, kind of treating video content more like a drug than a medium. So I'm not a particularly big fan of TikTok, so if I had to ban one, yeah, sorry, bite dance, that's kind of the one I would kick out too. Maybe that's the reason so much of the House and Senators and the President are all on board the banning idea, like, oh, yeah, it's, it's probably bad for data and privacy and all that, but also it's just annoying how many kids are watching TikTok these days. Let's just ban them, you know, just problem solve. It, it doesn't really solve the problem, we're just gonna replace it with something else and was far more likely of course is bite dance because they would rather sell the company than be banned because at least if you sell the company you get some money out of it they're gonna have to sell it and congress is probably gonna have to sign off on it because this is such a already heavily regulated brand and there's already so much pushback from the federal government on whether or not this app should be allowed in the u.s so i don't think basically it's going to be sold to whoever's willing to pay the most i don't think it's going to be that simple like i think meta would have a hard time buying them out 
especially after all of the antitrust issues where people are like, you like to just buy out your competition, don't you? There's already a lot of red flags from them that disturb the government because they bought out WhatsApp and they bought out Instagram purely because they were losing users to those apps. Even if Meta had the money to buy TikTok, I don't think they will just because the government's not going to allow it. Also, I imagine a fairly similar situation with Google because they own YouTube. TikTok is stealing a lot of screen time and attention from YouTube. So if Google just decided to buy out their biggest competitor, yeah, federal government probably going to be a little bit annoyed and upset by that. So it does have to be a US-based brand, but at the same time, it has to be one that probably isn't being looked at as too much of a monopoly or doesn't have that much presence in social media as of right now. There's been lots of rumors brewing. No one has really been super outspoken on like, yes, I'm totally going to be the one to buy it. The former Activision CEO has expressed interest. Kevin O'Leary has expressed interest, which is hilarious after the whole FTX drama he went down in. Yeah, let's just dabble in TikTok now. Everybody will love Mr. Wonderful then, right? And I'm sure because you're watching Talos of Tech, you're wondering why doesn't Apple buy TikTok? Once again, I wonder if there's a bit of an antitrust thing. However, Apple doesn't have much presence in the social media space as of right now. I've always said that your best bet is to buy an existing one that's popular because Apple has tried on numerous occasions to launch their own social media. It never goes well and most of the time social media that is started from the ground up never goes that well. That's like, you know, Google and Google Plus and Facebook and Slingshot. No one's able to like just build up a social media. It's usually some random startup company that just happens to go big and Apple's got a big music emphasis with Apple Music and TikTok has kind of pioneered that whole like music emphasis with the video content. Maybe there's something there but I still think Apple's looked at too much as a monopoly already so they probably won't get approved for that plus Apple's a little bit weary of the economic climate we're in right now. They're probably not that interested in splurging too much on existing titles but there were talks for a while about Walmart actually buying TikTok which is hilarious. Not really looked at as like a tech company or a social media company by any means but that's almost why it would be kind of perfect. It's like they need obviously a fairly big United States based company to buy them out because they're gonna need a lot of money to afford it and Walmart would absolutely have a lot of money but they don't have a lot of presence on any kind of social media and they're not I guess in the tech space looked at too much as a monopoly more on a more local retail basis they're often very much looked at as a monopoly and Microsoft seems to be a lot more interested in buying up companies lately with their huge acquisitions in the past couple of years but once again they have to worry about antitrust coming after them it's really fair game at this point like so many people could throw in the ring and attempt to buy them I think it's very possible it could be someone we've never heard of or at least never expected ends up buying them out which will be kind of interesting very unlikely I think that there will be an official ban because the sale is just going to be so much simpler and make so much more financial sense for ByteDance but who do you guys think should buy TikTok do you hope no one buys TikTok or do you want it to be an existing big tech company like I don't know like McDonald's or something weird like that buys them out what do you guys think is going to happen feel free to speculate along with me down in the comments below and thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly it seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thanks again this is your Rob Sheep here and I will see you all in the next one